hopefully we are able to have the chance to take a photo with Baker, and hopefully Baker can sign to me. Give me a sign, ma. Hey guys, this is Ashley Kang of Horizon Esports, and I'm joined by Yagao, the top laner of Believably Gaming. As we soon head into the Swiss stage of 2023 World Championship, Nihao, hello, hello, Yagao, thank you so much for joining me. We're just like here at Low Park doing all the content and everything. How are you feeling right now? Mm, yeah, so, this is my first time to be at World Championship, so I'm kind of used to that mostly. Yeah, BOG is the second seed of the LPL, and I briefly want to talk about the journey of BLG because BLG has some tough times throughout the season but they ended up still claiming the second seed. So how would you reflect on the overall journey of BLG throughout the summer season? Oh, I think... So I must say we have a rather good uh, summer regular season and all the players we just on a high note to be able to showcase a very high level performance but coming into the summer playoffs we have some difficulties here and there so we left some regrets on stage so hopefully we can just fix all the issues, all the problems uh, at Wolves so hopefully we can show them some good performance here. Because there is a very high expectation for BLG coming into this world, given that during MSI you managed to beat, you know, T1 and Genji and make it all the way to the finals. Can BLG repeat that successful feat they had at MSI? And in order for that to happen, what do you need to fix? Oh, I think... So what I'm looking forward to is the future. So hopefully at this World Championship, we can have a new start. We treat ourselves as a challenger. We just want to go step by step to have a good understanding towards the meta. Try our best to have a good summary on the reading the meta. And hopefully we can just go further and try our best to show the good performance. That being said, is there any team or mid laner that you want to face at Wells? So I must say, all the four LCK teams, they are super strong. So I like to face against all of them. Not Knight again? <laughs> because he went with Knight to like 11 times or something. It's a joke. Knight is a super strong player as well. So hopefully we can face against each other later. No, no. Can you just tell them it's a joke? Because in West, they say whenever they turn on LPL final, it's always Yaga versus Knight. Knight is definitely played so well. Uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit confused. It's a little bit weird, you know, like always the 12 of us to face against each other in the LPL final. Yeah. As we slowly head um, close this interview off, Yagao, you probably noticed, I know that other Korean journalists asked about it, but you're actually very, very, very popular in Korea. Um, do you have any message to those fans? Um. I've uh, like searched online. Uh, that, I've seen like Korean like, forums, the forums, the things like the, about me, the memes. And the thing I want to say is if you guys happy, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Thank you, Jishe. Uh, one last question. Can you choose one mid laner out of the four LCK mid laners and say a message to them? That's my last question. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 I like to choose Faker because I really yeah, admire yeah. him a lot. To be honest, yeah, starting yeah. from the uh, se season three, I'm the fan of him, a big fan. And previously, I also got their uh, SK jersey. And also, hopefully, we are able to have the chance to take a photo with Faker. And hopefully, Faker can sign to me. <laughs>